It's 2024, and most of the people who are watching will be furious because cryptocurrencies are going up like never before, but they still haven't bought any. In today's video, we'll talk about the best and worst case scenarios, and maybe that just means that prices will go through the roof. First things first, Sir Alderode, before the SEC sued Chris and Brad from Ripple three years ago today, they offered us the following settlement, the SEC would tell the markets that XRP is a security and give them a short time to comply. We said no because XRP is not a security and the SEC never built a framework for crypto compliance, no matter what Clayton, Hinman, Yezer, or anyone else says about it. Ripple fought for the whole industry because of the ETFs. In fact, when BlackRock followed up on their Bitcoin ETF, they cited XRP and Ripple as examples. Okay, now here comes Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple. Listen to what he has to say, this is very interesting. We weren't in Washington yesterday fighting for Ripple, we're in Washington fighting for crypto. We're not against what Circle is doing, and I want to support those things. I think the addressable market is so big that if we're fighting over who has what share of the market now, you've lost the plot. The market is going to be huge, and we need to keep growing the whole market. If Circle wins a little more, Ripple wins a little more, and so on. If Circle wins a little more, Ripple wins a little more, and so on. We can both win a lot, and... At this point, guys, we don't need to be mad about other coins going through the roof. Okay, now JPJMP Securities nearly doubles Coinbase's price targets and calls it the Amazon of crypto. Where else have we heard Amazon of crypto before? From Ripple. The company now wants to be the Amazon of payments, according to a report released on Thursday by CEO Brad Garlinghouse to the Financial Times. Amazon began as a bookstore that only sold books. You can see that Ripple is going after everything if you look at who and what they're buying. We need to talk about it because so many great things are coming up, like the 2023 Institutional Investor Crypto Market Report. Who is here? Future Money 2023 FF23 We got this report from big investors that says 89% of them invest in crypto guys. That means 60% of them are bullish and expect high returns in 2024. Wow, then we go down here. This is from the institutions guys. That's interesting, isn't it? They're there, they're there, they're bullish, and they expect big returns in 2024. 40% of institutional buyers who were going to wait until age 124 to invest then did so anyway. Others are just watching, maybe to see what happens in other things, as well as a way to protect themselves against traditional markets. That's interesting, right? Does that mean cryptocurrencies will be in a league of their own? The pair from the bottle of stock market I don't understand why you would invest in crypto assets, right? Most people said that was exposure to the crypto megatrend, but some said safe haven. That's so weird, right? Some of these people are investing in cryptocurrencies because they see them as a safe haven. That's interesting. That means that if things start to go bad, cryptocurrencies can be used as a safe haven. That's interesting. We've already talked about the case where the current financial system fails. China has said it will give the growth of the crypto industry a lot of attention in the future, even though they banned trading in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in January. Wow, I hope that gets lifted soon. Now let's look at the technical side of things. This is so interesting, guys. I think we were the first ones to say that we might see a new all-time high before they did. The two-month on-balance volume OBV, for Bitcoin is at what I think are new highs. In the past, this meant that a new all-time high for the dollar was only two months away and a top was six to ten months away. Let's go, I'm telling you, all I want to see is Bitcoin reach a new all-time high. That's all I care about. Bitcoin hit $44,000, which is where it is now, and a theory was at $1,400 nine months later. Ethereum was up 245%. Bitcoin has gone up 45%. Okay, he now thinks that a theory from Bitcoin will be a key macro trend of 24 and a work suggests it. As you can see, this is great if it happens because it means more people will have to work, which is good for our backs. 
The guy's story about how cash and the business cycle drive the risk curve is exactly what you'd expect. Here I'm becoming very optimistic because, guys, let's not be rude and insult Bitcoin in public because they're going to make our boat go up in the air. XRP what has happened every time there has been a rising market. Okay, so Bitcoin takes off. Then that money moves into alt, and things go crazy. If Bitcoin goes on a historic run and passes 100,000, and this happens before the halving date, don't waste your money. Remember to like today's video because the money is going to go into the biggest alt run up in history, especially XRP. Why don't people see what's happening? This is fascinating. Someone says that XRP isn't affected by bull runs, but it was created based on how high did it go in the last bull run? It was from 20 cents or S10 fold, guys. Not in the stock market, I can guarantee it, especially not in bonds. People are being too selfish and greedy. At this point, we should be thankful for anything. I'm honestly thankful that we are. We should be making money right now, so we just have to respect the pump. Here comes Kappa. This person is the biggest bear of them all, and he still thinks Bitcoin is going to dump. This is a very bullish sign. Okay, here comes the Fed's pivot. This is good news because it could lead to a new all-time high for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency. Quote and unquote the markets now think there's an 86% chance that interest rates will start going down in March 2024. The base case now shows seven interest rate cuts over the next 24 months. Three weeks ago, the Fed said that the markets were calling for rate cuts too soon. Last week, the Fed said that they want or see three rate cuts over the next 24 months. That's crazy. We don't find it funny. Let's see what happens next. One study by Justin Biffinex predicted that the number of crypto users could reach almost 1 billion next year if the market stays strong. Wow, that's crazy, guys. I think that's why money printers are printing. We've never had so many ads for ETFs and other things that we still haven't talked about because this is going to be a long video, so I'm going to pause right now and continue in another video.